Welcome to day 21 of NTI. Let's get started with yesterday's exit ticket. So, this first number, we're rounding to the nearest tenths place. Uh, how you would say this number is eight is um, three one hundredths, eight thousandths, four ten thousandths. Okay? So, with that being said, here we go. I would round this to the nearest tenths place by choosing the options of three and three tenths. Noticing that my in the hundreds place I have a one would mark me right about there because my middle number would be a five. Not a one, but a five. So four and below, you let it go become three or three and zero tenths. Rounding to the nearest hundredths place, I would choose three and one hundredth and three and two hundredth. Since I have three and one hundredth as one of my options, the next one up would be three and two hundredths. I would then get, look at the thousands place and say five and above, give it a shove up to three and two hundredths. Next, we have this number here of 29 and 96 hundredth two thousandth. So my options here would be 29 and 9 tenths when ran into the tenths place. Or what's one more than that would be 30 or 30 and 0 tenths. Okay. So when rounding it up, I would look at the hundredths place. Five and above, so I would give it a shove up to 30. Right into the nearest hun hundreds place. So that was right into the nearest tens place. Right into the nearest hundreds place, I would now say, all right, if this is my hundreds place, I want to look at the thousands place to decide where to round it to. So my first option is 29 and 96 hundredths. I could round it there. Or one more than that is 29 and 97 hundredths. I look at the two, well four and below you let it go, so the answer here would be 29 and 96 hundredths. All right, so let's move on to today's lesson. This is gonna be a review now of multiplication, is what we're gonna focus on. But I'm gonna show two different strategies. So, there, we're going to start off with the second strategy um, that a lot of us are familiar with. It's the expanding strategy. Okay. Problem, if my problem is 838 times 58, I'm going to expand the 58 to make it a 50 and an 8. So I'm going to, to I'm, then I'm going to times. 50 and then 8 by 838. Bring down your 0 from your 1's place. 5 times 8 equals 40. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 4 is 19. 8 times 5 equals 40 plus 1 equals 41. Next, I'll do... 8 times 8 equals 64. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 6 equals 30. 8 times 8 equals 64 plus 3 is 67. And then I'll, my last step is add them together. 41,900 plus 6,704. Four in the ones place, zero in the tens place, 16, carry that one. Six plus one equals seven, plus one equals eight. 48,604. Going this strategy, which is the strategy your parents are most familiar with, which is very similar to this, and you'll see how it is, okay? Where does first start timing, timesing the eight? Like we did here, okay? So we get 64, 30, 
67. Just like we did there. Okay. Next, we're going to pretend that this is a zero. And we're going to put the zero there. Just like we did here. And then solve the rest of it, like we did over here. 5 times 8 equals 40. 3 times 5 equals, plus 4 equals 19. 8 times 5 equals 40 plus 1 equals 41. 41,900, just like we did here. And now we're going to add it like we did over here. 4, 0, 16. 48,604, just like over here. Okay, so the trickiest part here is kind of erasing what you did here when you were timesing it by each by eight. So you don't miss add the inappropriate numbers when you actually times it now by five. You also want to called save the place. So if you're doing 50, you're pretending that's a 50, you want to make sure you bring your, your zero down here like we did over here. Whichever strategy you want to use, solve it whichever way you want to solve it. Okay? That's so the answer to number one is ultimately 48,604. All right, so I'm going to have you go ahead, either strategy, you don't need to do both, but pick a strategy that you want to use to solve 266 times 93. Go ahead, hit the pause button, and do that now. Okay, so the answer to number two is 24,738. So for the first strategy, I did three times six, three times six, three times two and got 798. Then I did nine, I saved, I made that a 90 and brought the zero here and did nine times six, nine times six, nine times two, got 23,904D. Add them together to get that 24,738. For the second strategy, I broke up the 93 and made it a 90 and a 3. I got the 23,940, just like I did over here, and I got the 798, just like I did over there. Add them together, get 24,738. Number three. Go ahead, pick a strategy, and solve it. Okay. So here are the two strategies, uh, whichever one you used. Um, if you use the first strategy, I did 6 times 2, 6 times 7, 6 times 3, got 2,232. Then I pretended this was a 0, brought that 0 down here to save the place value. 4 times 2, 4 times 7, 4 times 3, and got 14,880 added them up to get 17,112. Over here, I expanded the 40 and the 6 from the 46. All right, 372 times 40 gave you that 14,880, like I did over here. 372 times 6 gave me the 2,232, like I did over there. Last and final problem. All right, so your last problem, and be cautious with your multiplication here because there's very easy you can make a multiplication mistake with some of these multiplication facts. 659 times 78. Go ahead and solve that now. Okay, so using the first strategy, which I knew is maybe new for some of you, it's going to be. 8 times 9, 8 times 5, 8 times 6, which gives you 5,272. If you didn't get that, there was a multiplication mistake somewhere. Or maybe you forgot to add some of the digits up here. Okay. Then I pretend this is a 0, make it a 70, bring my 0 down. 
7 times 9, 7 times 5, 7 times 6 gives me 46,130. I add them together to get 52,402. The other strategy is expanding the 78 to be 70 and 8. When you do that, you get the 46,130, like we did over here. And then the 5,272, like we did over here. And ultimately, you add them all up. Again, you get 52,402. All right, so if you're not feeling very confident with this, maybe you made half of, half of them and got mistakes on somewhere, practice a few, have a parent check them over, and then go ahead and do the exit ticket. Best of luck, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.